guys, in this reflection lesson, I'm going to show you how to reflect shapes and also how to describe a reflection when you're given the object and the image. So in the first question, it says, reflect A in the line X equals zero. Well, the line X equals zero is just the Y axis. If you look at the Y axis, the X value is always zero along that line. Okay, so there's X equals zero. So we need to reflect this triangle A in that mirror line the y-axis, or x equals zero, and when we do that, what happens is the shape flips across that line. Okay, so it's the same shape, it's the same size, but it flips across the mirror line. So when you do a reflection, it's a good idea to take one of the points on your shape. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to take the bottom left-hand corner here. Can you see that it's exactly two units away from the y-axis, horizontally? The new point, the reflected point, should be two units but on the opposite side of the mirror line okay so it should be here okay so they're exactly the same distance away from the mirror line okay those two points then you can just do the same thing for all the other points so this point here is four units from the mirror line so if you count one two three four one two three four you have the second point then the point up here is also four units away from the mirror line. One, two, three, four. So you count four units again. Okay. And can you see now it's the same triangle, it's the same size, but it's flipped in the mirror line. Okay, so that's the image of A. Okay, that's the reflected shape. In the second question, it says reflect A in the line y equals negative 1. So if that line isn't already indicated on the graph, make sure you draw it on, okay? So here I've just marked roughly the line y equals negative 1, okay? So we need to reflect that triangle in this new mirror line. So the triangle is going to flip down here somewhere, okay? So just like before, choose one of the points on your triangle. So I'm going to choose, again, the bottom left-hand corner and count how many units that point is away from the mirror line. So you should be able to see this time the point is one, two, three units from the mirror line. So the new reflected point will be three units below the mirror line, okay, in line with the previous point. So I'm going to count one, two, three. Okay, obviously when you do this in an exam question, you'll be a lot more tidy than me when I'm doing it on the whiteboard. Then for the second point, again, it's three units from the mirror line. So you count three units below. One, two, three. Okay, so there's the second point. And lastly, the point up here is six units from the mirror line. Okay, so you have to count six units away from the mirror line. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it takes you all the way down there. Okay, so then you can join up the points. And that is the image of A, okay? We have reflected triangle A in the mirror line, y equals negative one. Okay, so next up we've got reflect A in the line x equals four. So just like before, if the line x equals four isn't already indicated on your graph, find it, okay? So I've just done a few dashes here along x equals four to show that line. And so we need to reflect triangle A in that new mirror line. Okay, so it's a little bit different this time because two of the points are on the mirror line. So when the points lie on the mirror line, they don't move, okay? They stay where they are. So the only one that's going to reflect or move, if you like, is this point here. This point is two units away from, from our mirror line, x equals four. So you need to count two units the other way, okay? So this point here on our triangle is reflected over here, okay? It's exactly the same distance from the mirror line, but on the opposite side. So now you can join up the points. Okay, so that is the image of A. So it doesn't matter that it lies on the mirror line, okay? We've done the reflection. That is the image of A. In this next question, it says, describe the transformation that maps B onto B dash. So transformation just means either um, rotation or flexion. Okay, 
so I'll start again. So transformation just means either a rotation, reflection, enlargement, or translation. Hopefully now you should be able to recognize that this is a reflection because it's the same shape, it's the same size, but B has been flipped in a mirror line, okay, to find the image B dash. So the first thing you would write down for your answer is just the word reflection. Okay, that is the transformation. But to get full marks, you need to find the equation of the mirror line. Now remember, the mirror line is exactly halfway between the two shapes. Okay, so it's going to be here somewhere. Okay, but we need to find it precisely. So I can see between these two points, there are exactly three units between them. If we half three, we get 1.5. So you need to count 1.5 units from here to find the mirror line. So this is at minus two. So if I add 1.5, it takes me to negative 0 0.5. Okay, so it's in between a square, but that's fine. So there's negative 0 0.5. So the mirror line is there. Okay, the mirror line or the equation of the mirror line would be x equals negative 0 0.5. Okay, so you can write the final answer like that. It's a reflection in x equals negative 0 0.5. So just like in the previous question, we have to describe the transformation that maps b onto b dash. So the first thing you would write down in this question would be reflection. Okay, we know it's a reflection. It's the same size shape. It's just flipped in a mirror line. So now we have to find that mirror line, okay, and the equation of that mirror line. So if you look between these two points here, there's only one unit, okay, one unit space between them. So if you take that one unit and half it, so divide by two, you get 0 0.5. So if I add 0 0.5 onto the number three, or if you want, you can take away 0 0.5 from the number four, it doesn't matter which direction you do, it ends up here. Okay, so there's the mirror line. So because it crosses at 3.5, the equation of that line is x equals 3.5. Okay, so that is our answer. It's a reflection in x equals 3.5. I hope you found that lesson on reflections easy to understand. As you probably noticed, I overlapped quite often with the topic straight line graphs. So if you want to get really good at these questions, work on the equations of straight lines, all right? Um, soon I'll have another lesson coming uh, involving reflections, but I will mix it together with other types of transformations like rotation, translation and enlargements, okay, and I will use exam questions, okay, so keep your eyes peeled, they'll be a little bit more difficult than what I showed you in this lesson today.